Ooh, I should be using this cup. Pet Marjo. What's wrong with you, Marjo? What's your wrong? Nothing's wrong with you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> This is better. <laughs> it is really foolish of me to hold any liquid over my keyboard, so I'm just gonna stop doing that. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Like this cup, the it used to have a handle. I had two coffee cups at the time. Two coffee cups. Both of the handles broke on the same day. Life is funny. Life is weird, man. <laughs> I was talking to my buddy Carl this morning. I'm like, dude, I'm spooked. <laughs> I'm like, ooga booga. I'm just gonna, I don't know, it's not gonna be in like any other day for uh, me and mom, probably. We're just gonna, like, it, it'll start like, well, I don't know if I'll do a talk, maybe after, I, I don't know. We'll, I don't know! Just free-flowing. <laughs> just going free-flowing. With discretion. With discipline. And caution. So last night was super weird. <laughs> Just because there's no pattern anywhere. Like, life is patterns, and all the patterns are being erased because life isn't patterns. Life is what you make it. But all the formatting is being wiped. So, I woke up at 1.30. There's no place for me. Instead of getting all riled up and waking up all the way, I came out into the living room and laid down on the tiny bed in the corner, the day bed, the dog bed. And uh, I thought about doing a live, but I said, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go back to sleep. And I, and, and I said, if I can't go back to sleep, I'll get up and turn on everything and do a live in the middle of the night. I, I was able to go back to sleep. And my phone hasn't been charging. I've been using one of those, these, and the electromagnetics, Everything is so freaking wonky between the as above, the astrology, and so below the, the freaking storms it's creating. And people, I was using one of these. I'd been trying, and I have a hard time getting it on the sweet spot. And now I got this new, I tried this new camera mount for the bourbon, but I'm skeptical. Uh, we'll see. Uh... But I had to put a magnet on it, so it kind of, there's two sweet spots on it, and, and it takes one away with the placement of the magnet. And so I went to sleep, or so I go back to sleep, and I wake up, and I look at the phone, and I didn't bother to look at what time it was. It just had an error message that it says when your temp, when your when your phone cools down, it'll resume charging. And I was like, and 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 where it was. There's a heat exchange about 18 inches from it, so the so I get it. So I was like, okay, all right. And so I haven't had a full charge in like two days, and I'm 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 not I'm not that ain't me. I keep it. I, I'm always keeping it on a charger. Uh, so uh, that was weird. But when I got up at 1:30. I've only had a few other experiences like this that, like, I can recall where my mind has been. It's like being kind of in a dazed sleepwalk state. 
But, like, I came up from that part of the trailer up to the front. Well, from east or west to east. And I went and, and I, and I, around the corner, there's the bathroom and then the bedroom on the end. And the bedroom has a bunch of, like, trailer windows that are angular and stuff. And curtains blocking them. But still, it was trippy because it was just red. Like, red and I was like oh there must have been an accident over there that was my initial thought but first like there is like my fur my imagination goes wild too for a second like oh we got here we go hell on <laughs> we go hell on earth <laughs> like this big old be like it it like consumed the front part like I walked into redness it was such a surreal it was a trip so I go I I went to the restroom and I sit down and then I can see right out here it was a lot. Like, I'm in the middle of the nowhere, and it was 1.30 in the morning, so people were wasted, likely. It was uh, alcohol, some some demon. Somebody gave their, their spirits over to the demons, and then... I looked right... I looked this morning at, like, 6. There ain't nothing on the news about it yet. <laughs> they ain't on it like me. So, um, there was, like, two amp... There was, like... Like, it was... From here to here, that whole, it was, I don't know. It was a lot. There's turnovers high right now. I was reminded this morning about how to, you know, just stay out of sight. Just, like, don't put myself out there so much. I need to be discreet right now. I mean, I, I'm not going to, like, you know, but I need to I need to focus on within right now. But, um, so that was a trip. Just everything was just so off, just so. And then I woke up, and then it was like, oh, got to give Artie his pill. And then, uh, you know, start the day. But, uh, chatterbox. i always been a chatterbox. I'm so nostalgic, man. Two days, I'm going to be halfway to 100. Fucking halfway. Fuck Hey, man, How, I'm going to be 50. When I was a little kid, people said, "How oh, they're, they're 50. Wow, they're old. Acting a fool for, I, I love, I want people like, why do you act the way, you know, act out like that? Like what? Cause I had, I had, I, I was surrounded by control freaks. And at some point you get to bust out and be your own kind of frequency. My dad used to do this thing that like when we'd go out in places, cause I moved around a lot. Cause I got a, cause I got a lot of juice in me <laughs> and I don't got no earth and, and stuff hurts. So I keep moving and there's evidently there's times that. Other people think that I don't need to be moving around. <laughs> Military, my dad, the control freaks. And so what he would do is he would take his thumb and he would stick it in here and he would press really, really, really hard. That's what he'd do to me when I was little because he's a dick. The world's full of dicks, and I don't like dicks. I don't like jerks, but that's all right. That's beside the point. What we're going to do next is we're going to talk about that video that I put the clip in the in the chat. I also made a, 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 a community, like a post on YouTube about it. It's so funny because this guy, he's like, get, he's like, get, I, I, just, I, I, I don't remember ever this guy being on my radar and he could have been and for some other reason that like we I, I wasn't supposed to like sync up with them but today I listened to that talk this morning and it sunk and 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 it uh it's so funny because I talk about how human pe bodies are computers we're computers like our processors our brain you know our heart our batteries that's what keeps you going is love and he was talking about like and, and my my i'm adamant in my beliefs like this and he affirms it and I, evidently my buddy carl told me he's listened to him for years i was like that's so funny because he's 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 the dude that's given him, my buddy carl a bunch of confirmations too i said yeah i don't remember ever not to say that it hasn't i just don't remember but uh 
he's talking about how you know like formatting i'm an it professional i was that was by trade that's what i went to college for stuff like that that's why i went to the air force for to go to college and the universe said no you're gonna do something different okay all right i'm just gonna go along for the ride we <laughs> i don't need to ski because i got another life called we we <laughs> makes me dizzy we so um listen to this talk just affirm so much and more and other people and, and, and it helps me like hear it in a different way so I can at articulate it in a different matter right right so uh you know uh when you first when you get a new employee at a company you get usually you get you know the IT department gets okay they're allowed this groups they can go here they, they can have this badge access they're allowed to see this this and this and I was like, okay. So you make their profile. You format who they are to that company. And then you create their computer. You format their computer and modify it and adjust it. Just, just, just suits their needs just right. And they got everything they need. In these, and then people still let their low vibrational frequencies take over. And they're like, ooh, I'm going to go to this site. You shouldn't be going to that site. You have everything you need to do what you need. But because of how, you know, their own personal, you know. <laughs> it's so weird how I'm starting to see life, man. It's tripping me out. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, so I recommend that, that people listen to what he, that dude has to say. Because he says it. I mean, it's just like, because he was in the occult. I, I guess I was kind of in the occult, but I was on the outskirts of the cult. And I wasn't willing to do the things that, like, the people with the true knowledge. Because it's a club, man. You, people do weird shit for a fucking entrance, and I, I don't. And I'm not going to compromise all the good things that mom taught me to get knowledge that I'm going to find ultimately if I just keep doing the right fucking thing and not be, you know, a scumbag and take care of my body and keep speaking truth. Because when I speak truth, the truth out there, it speaks to me because we are the same frequency. I start, you know, living for myself and lying on, then I'm just going to carry it on and being douchey. I'm going to start drawing more douchey people to me. I got my stones in my pocket today. I always got stones in my pocket. Hey, Ma, what's up? How you been, homie? Later, dude. <laughs> He's been dropped off on a different timeline for a while. He watched me from the beginning, I think. He bought me a pair of shoes for my birthday a couple years ago. They're made in Africa from, like, tires and recycled materials and stuff like that. And now on on Cat Talk, I, I see, I, I follow people that sit there and make, like, really cool sandals and shit like that out of rubber. Oh, just, it's so, people are so, we are the vessels to create, man, and... The control freaks have stifled that creation for so long, and now they can't even create. They're so they're so uncreative. They can't even create ways to control people anymore. Cause people are like, "I know that ain't true." Who told you some bullshit like that? You need to reformat. People are gonna degauze tomorrow, in the IT world calls it when they leave the company. You put it on a machine and it magnetizes the hard disk. And then you can wipe it clean and get ready for that new employee. So tomorrow, I think the, the, the and it's going to, and what it's going to do is like, there's a lot of hard asses out there that are really good people. They're not going to be able to be hard asses anymore. They're just going to be the big old softies and seen for what they are. And you ain't tough and yada, yada, yada. Because your people are going to come back in the balance. And the people that act like they're really good and they're not. Same thing. They're going to be seen for the freaking bullshit. Because lies can't live on planet earth anymore. Nope. They cannot live on planet earth anymore. No lies required. Authenticity only. <laughs> Authenticity only. Yeah, so... 
I've been all nostalgic. Going down memory lane. These flowers sure are pretty, though. I'm cool. I'm glad that they are not any, um, like, what are those lilies of the field? The lilies are bad for cats. Like, there's so many plants out that are out there that people are like, oh, they're so pretty. And then they get them, and then they don't think about the critters that they love. And the critters eat them and then die. And then they learn their lesson. So, I hope I could save people some trouble. It's funny, because I look at flowers, and I'm like, <laughs> I <laughs> My mind is a computer and it's, 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 um, I don't know. I try to give people an idea. I, I got to, I got a cool experience. I think I'm going to start kind of doing readings of my own interpretation. I'm going to look at people's chart and I'm going to interpret them. And then I'm going to see how, if I'm right, just based on, cause I ain't never had no formal. I had my first birth chart chart done when I was more. So I always paid attention. And then like my brother, Back, there was a, uh, when I lived with him, he was like, he said something and it really turned me off to astrology. I allowed, I took his word over mine and it turned me off for a long time. But I was like, from the time I was four, I mean, cause I was always interested cause I knew, I knew that it existed. Cause I remember looking at my birth chart laid out on a big round table and it was on a piece of parchment paper. And I was like, wow, that's all me? And they're like, yeah, this is how you're going to, you know, guide and direct your life. You just got to learn. You just got to always remember to live from your heart. No matter what anybody else says, don't let them discourage you from that. Don't let them. Li so I didn't get the formatting in school. I was the drooling kid, you know, I was, I was like, we, I had a really hard home life. So a lot of times that there is story time, like I'm so grateful that the earth angels out there that just let me be me while the rest did were tried so hard to stifle. There's a lot of people like kind, you know, they're in there, they're in there. Like the teacher, like after story time, cause I would always, I would feel safe and then I would fall asleep. And that there would be like, there's a few times, one time I was 15 and Mr. Hollihan, he's my, probably my favorite teacher ever, uh, freshman year, Nova high school. I heard later he got, uh, suspended and like made to, or, you know, like, cause he grabbed a freaking disrespectful little shit turd by the arm and that just, es all he did is ground by the arm and escorted him out of his class, you know, but everybody, he was the guy, like he would have. When you walked into class, the seats that you sat in, the table were covered by butcher paper with messages from the last class. And they're all telling us, like, he's, he's a big, so like, don't let him, like, you're going to love this guy. Like, don't let him be scared because he's stern. He dressed to the nines. He's probably a Freemason now that I think about it, but he was real fit and he was like in his late fifties, sixties, you know, like he get, and, and he was just trying to get us ready for life. And that was right at the time that mom had her stroke and I was, and, and I was going, I lived far out. So I'd catch, and we had animals. So I'd catch, I'm 15. I catch the bus into town to go to school, which was a mile from the hospital or so from where mom was. And then I would hang out with mom all day, watch TV with her in her hospital bed, and then run back home to catch the late bus to take care of the critters. And I'd do that Monday, you know, and she was, she was in the hospital for her stroke for seven days. She was in longer for her prolapse rectum. She almost died that time too. That was, that was 32 days. So, uh, but Mr. Hollihan, uh, one morning, Danielle Harrison got a bunch of little freaking liquor bottles from her, uh, dad, stepmom, Susan. She had like a basket in the bottom and she just went and grabbed a bunch. And so I was like, Ooh, and they're little. So they're just little shooters. So I did like three. It was like a vodka, like Jack Daniel. I don't know. It was a bad combination. So then I had Mr. Hollihan's class and. I don't know how people, like, I don't even know if, like, schools even knew that, like, my mom was in the hospital and I was taking care of myself. 
There was one time that same school. Oh, anyway. So I drank all those, and then I had to go to Mrs. Mr. Hollihan's class, and we were watching, like, Romeo, like, the original, like, the old one. And we were watching some, some, and it was not, and I just passed out. And then I woke up, and it was, like, lights off, class empty. I have no idea what time it is. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't know. I don't, I'm like, what? Like I am not on the same timeline as the rest of the planet right now. And then I got interject and I just kind of, it, that was wow. But he could have totally busted me, but he, he, he let me be. And he wrote in my, I still have my yearbook that he wrote in. He's like, you're going to be okay. You're, you're strong. You're a strong person. You're going to be okay. But one thing about that talk that, uh, in the link that I put in this morning, at the end, if you go towards the end, I think people should listen to the whole thing, but if you go towards the end, they talk about, um, mental gender, mental energy. And that is becoming such an important topic these days because, you know, you have your the feminine and masculine, left, right, side, logical, you know, whatever, wh however people want to interpret it. And people are putting their physical gender on mental gender and they're two separate things. And I would like to see more conversations where people are talking about that, you know, like, like you can, you can satisfy, we're all just energy, right? We're just assigned a physical body. But that doesn't, I mean, I'm a, I'm a female, I'm more masculine in my chart. I'm like six masculine, four feminine, as far as the breakdown. And I, my buddy Claire came over yesterday and she's the same and no earth like me. It's a trip. And so God, it's such life is such a trip, man. Wow. It's so wild. I think I'm going to get nicer. <laughs> I feel it. It's like I'm going to get nicer. And then I bought myself, I treated to myself a, um, uh, I treated to myself to a, from my favorite, it's this little co-star app that I have. Two days is to tell your birthday. Uh, every time I hit the banner, little rams fall down. Uh, uh, you can't spend your whole life avoiding discomfort. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell people. You got to work through the discomfort. It's a lot. You'll, it'll better it'll serve you so much better. Don't when you're hurting, don't sit there and feel the pain. Get up at some point and start like moving stuff like when I do this does it hurt less if I do this does, you know just start playing with your body get to know your body it, and my 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 uh recommendations for the day do belly laughs I love belly laughs man I a good belly laugh I probably only had six or seven like really <laughs> those are right I hope I do a good belly laugh today uh do dancing shoes do appetizers don't do mimicry instagram ads or hypo hypotheticals and i got my year ahead report i did scream time no what is that i'm not asking for hey i don't need your input thank you signs cancer rising in my first house Libra, Pluto, Uranus in my fourth. Scorpio, Moon in my fifth. Sagittarius, Neptune in my sixth. Pisces, Jupiter, Mercury. Uh, uh, I got Venus and Jupiter and Pisces in my ninth. And then um, in my tenth, Mercury and Pisces. Aries, Sun in my tenth. And then Gemini. I got Mars and Saturn in my 12th. Uh, 
I'll see if Mercury in Pisces determines how you communicate, talk, and think. You process information. It also indicates how you learn. It is the mind's planet. Your Mercury in Pisces, meaning your intellectual, is emotionally driven. As I start <laughs> dreamy and a bit in the clouds, your imagination and intuition keeps you open to other people's ideas. You are a good listener. You may have the tendency for white lies. See, we always have the ability to rise above our astrology. It can say what we are. We get to choose what we get to keep and what we get to put away. So that I try real hard not to lie. I try so hard. I get the white lie. I keep them at a minimum because the truth says just serves me better is all. It is in your 10th health, meaning you are curious about and inclined to analyze your responsibilities and what you need to accomplish anymore in the world. Venus in Pisces. If people have Venus in Pisces, this might relate to you. Determines how and what you love. It indicates how you express affection and the qualities you're attracted to. Your Venus in Pisces, meaning your romantic side, is sentimental, dreamy, and gentle. You have an endlessly deep well of compassion and love. You have trouble protecting yourself in relationships. Yeah, do whatever. Just as long as you're nice to me sometimes. Just sometimes. It's okay, I get it. You had a bad day. I can take it. It's in your ninth house, meaning that you love. Love is often expressed in philosophy, faith, education, and politics. I'll just do one more. Mars and Gemini. Mars is the planet of aggression. It determines how you assert yourself, take action, and the energy that surrounds you. Particularly in your sex life. I don't have one. You're ambitious, and when you're angry, your Mars is in Gemini, meaning you assert yourself in a way that is quick and heady, and you push through things with lots of energy, sometimes without focus. It is with your 12th house, meaning you put a lot of energy into privacy, secrets, and introspection. See, people think I put everything out here. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> I just put out there, I pick and choose. But I, one thing though, I do put it all out there. I just maybe won't want to do it at, at the time in which it happens. <sighs> so, anyway, it was only eleven ninety nine for like the year ahead report. I wonder what Ahmad's up to. I think, see, that's the thing. People dip in and I'm like, I wonder how they are. And then they come back. <laughs> Maybe I should go out and try and get some sun on my face. I still have this zit. What a freaking freaky timeline as that is. Like, all the videos where she had that zit on her face lasted, like, weeks. It's about ready to be at the, on the end of it, though. So, uh... We're just gonna do business as usual here. Whatever else is going on in the world, that's for other people. That's their life lessons, you know? I, 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 I... Hey, stop! Don't go out in the eclipse! Okay, there. That's <laughs> I did my part. No, don't do it from a Native American perspective. Okay, have my bye. You know, woo. So I went a little. What did it say? Did it say retail therapy? Is that what it said? Because I don't. I, I don't like buying stuff for myself a lot. Really, like I mean, I. For a long time, I thought it was hard for people to buy me presents because if I wanted something, I'd just buy it myself. Until I started meeting, or not even, or just started having people in my life, I, people I'd never even met have given me the fucking best gifts. And I give p other people really good shit, too. Heidi Vandenberg, I hope she does talks again. I hope she comes back after the eclipse reemerged. She's just a freaking great mind. She's always welcome on my compound. I sent her one of these. It's a Bluetooth speaker with the light. She likes to dance like I do. And so I sent her one of those when she, as a housewarming present when she first moved in. 
I ain't never met her before. She's a cautious, smart person. She's a brilliant Vedic astrologer. She read my chart. I was just like, can I send you something as a, as a housewarming present? And she was like, she knows my chart because, you know, she's seen my video. She knows my heart without ever even meeting me. She let me have her address. I, you know, I sure I'd never share it with anybody, you know, and, uh, I might've even deleted it kind of thing. Um, and so I, I, I went ahead and ordered it and sent it to her and she, I get a message and she's like, did you send me this thing? And this, and she, I said, yeah, she said, this might be the greatest gift that anybody has ever sent me in my life. And we've never even met. Like you can know people without being around them. It's energetics, man. It's frequency. It's tuning into their vibe. You know, like, like. People can have full-on conversations with no words at all. It would behoove people to practice. I do it with my animals all the time. They're talking to me, you know. But the world is opening up, and I think it's going to be put a lot of people at ease. A lot of people on medications for schizophrenia and stuff like. I hear voices. I hear voices. Yeah, it's fucking intuition. And the more, the more, the more you hear them, the more intuitive you are. And you probably don't have an Earth in your chart. So let me help you. Go teach you how to go like freaking when you feel like that. Go de gauze. Go take all that data and information that is freaking putting itself upon you and put yourself in places where it can't reach you. Go take, you know, water, grounding, you like, you know, grass. Like, there, go hug a tree. Seriously, no joke. Like, there's all this stuff. Like, I see these people and I'm starting to see their astrology in them. And wow. I'm having awakenings just like everybody else. It's tripping me out, man. Because I'm just the kind of sort that it's like, yeah, we'll wait and see. Whatever information, I'm supposed to get it. And, like, I'm just like, ooh, land mountain or landslides, blue mountains. God, my heart just keeps going out to that that young dude. That's his story, though. I know there's more to that story, but I just, I, he's on my heart. But, uh, that young man in Kansas that, that I mean, but uh, people are taken and freaking killed every day because there's the wicked is, 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 feels compelled that it can do whatever it likes. As we can see with all the, like, we can't, seriously, we can't fucking house people, but think about all the resource bullshit that's going to be perpetuated tomorrow. Rockets for no, like, just so, CERN, like, trillions and gazillions of dollars, and they're just going, ha, 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 look at the homeless, look at the suffering, oh, wow, people are suffering, our plan is working, la, 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 la. Well, let's see what my heart can say about it. Cause I'm going to put my heart, I'm going to put my heart out there. I'm going to put my source out there and see if I can freaking shed some light on some darkness, some counter, counter spirituality in action. But one thing about that talk that they talk about and, and I'm a, I'm, I'm big on is caring is in action. And that's why the world is so shitty because people don't care. It's like people have whatever they need and then there it's like anything out them they're ignoring it so they don't have to take any action in life. And it's it's we're headed to a crux to a point to a collection point that people are going to be in situations that they're going to need people to care about them and they're not going to receive that care because they didn't put it out. So, that's the way how I see it. Anyway, is anybody there? That's about all I got for now. Thanks for hanging out. I hope